Good morning. I am in the historic market town of Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. Now, Bury St Edmunds is a very sought-after place to live. It's a very nice place to live, partly because of the rich history. If you look at this building here, this is just a typical example of the kind of architecture you find in Bury St Edmunds. It's a medieval town that sort of kept its uh, kept its kept its history. So out on, when we're on the doorstep, we like to be out and about and finding out what issues matter to the people on the street. So let's see who's behind this door. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, Herr, good morning. May I ask, could you introduce yourself for the camera? Hi, my name is Michele Pagliuk, I'm one of the owners of Rustico. Yeah. Fantastic, and you sir? Hi, I'm José Marian, I'm one of the owners of Rustico too. Fantastic. Well, welcome. this is a beautiful building, guys. Do you want to give us a quick tour? Yeah, please. This is the main city. So, can area. you tell us uh, how old is this building? It's just over 300 years old, this building. This is the main uh, city area. As you can see, all the bins, the bins all around the building. Yeah, it's a very beautiful, historic building. Fantastic. Well, it, see, it is a gorgeous building. I see you've got these exposed beams. These presumably came from old oaks, that sort of thing. Yeah. So tell me, you're a new business, I understand. You've been open for, what, four months now? Yeah, just over four months. We opened the 20th of February, so just to get really brand new, basically, yes. Yeah. So a very turbulent time to open a restaurant. How's it been so far? So about the, rest, the restaurant has been amazing. I've been very, very good uh, response for our customers. So it could have been better, I have to say. Yeah, we are very excited. That. Fantastic. A lot of people have been telling us that they're really feeling the squeeze with the energy prices. Yeah. Have you seen quite steep energy prices? We did feel it. We did say that our electricity bill just went up to the roof. And obviously, um, most of the equipment are the run on electricity. So our bill, yes, it went very high, yes. Well, also, you guys make fresh food every day. You also import a lot of stuff from Italy, I understand. Have you found, like, uh, ingredient prices have gone up a bit? They went up, and they were difficult to, to, to get it, even for the shortage. I mean, it in the flour and the olive oil, they just went up to the roof as well. We have to look at different supply, different way to bring it over to, to us, yes. That's it, adapting and overcoming. And I see... Marion is up to a bit of preparation there. Let's go and check that out. Good morning, Marion. What are you up to at the moment? Okay, so this morning we are doing a fresh pasta. It's egg-based pasta. So we are doing tonnarelle and parpadelles. There are two types of our fresh pasta. Now, our parpadelle is going to the oxtail. It's a homemade sauce for five hours cooking. The meat we, uh, we take it from our local butcher. And this is our restaurant. We are doing fresh food, 100% in the house. Fantastic. So you, you, you're sourcing your meat locally, you're importing yes. bits and pieces where you can. Have you found there's been a, any disruptions in the supply, supply chains, Michaela? Uh, there is in time, in time, not always, but sometimes we can see that the, the product they take longer to come over, yes. Most of these get stuck on the border and, uh, mm. for regulation, yes. It's one of these things, isn't it? It's a very challenging situation out there. Now, are you guys... Are you guys... Uh, are you guys... Uh, struggling with uh, with the importation you said it's going quite clearly yeah it's going quite clearly just sometimes it just uh it's taking a little bit longer than usually so we are running out of stock or stuff but uh, yeah but it's one of those things that we can't do nothing about fantastic well you're opening a restaurant in a difficult time uh everyone's feeling the pinch of the cost of living crisis we've got national rail strikes going all over the place it's a very it's a difficult time and there's a storm that the british people are weathering but it seems like you guys are holding strong so Thank you.